comment on the uh, how how electronics is so important for the human society uh, in facing so many uh, the big issues now uh, globally? Could you comment on that? Sure. Um, the economies of the U.S. and Europe were built on energy. The economy of China is being built with energy. Energy is critical, is the lifeblood of our uh, economic growth. And yet, business as usual cannot go along. Uh, resources such as petroleum are limited, and uh, being able to access them is creating a lot of geopolitical uncertainty. We have seen clearly evidence that links carbon emissions to climate change. And there is a mandate now to reduce the amount of carbon emissions. But if that translates into a reduction in the amount of energy we consume, which is under the old business model, then economic growth is going to be stagnated. And that is not going to be acceptable to people. So the challenge is for us to find ways to keep economic growth going while having sustainable energy, which does not generate carbon emissions and does not burden our future generations with a, a bill that is really big and, uh, and, and big to pay. So how do we get there? If we start looking at the way in which these technologies all come together, it's very clear that the future is going to be more electrified. You're going to have more wind energy, more solar energy, for it all to work with the grid. You're going to have more energy storage. You're going to have uh, to cut down carbon emissions from mobile transportation. You're going to have more electric cars, which are now going to need again to connect to the, uh, the grid and be powered from solar and wind energy. You also have to cut down on energy consumption without reducing on the functionality. And that requires us to use energy more efficiently. In every single thing I have mentioned so far, power electronics plays a very key role because that's how you convert electrical energy from the form it's available to the form that's required. So whether you're using electric cars, whether you're talking about your iPod or your computer, or you're talking about large solar panels uh, connecting to the grid, or you're talking about bringing energy from Three Gorges back into uh, mainland China, all of these areas require efficient electrical energy conversion and control and that is the realm of power electronics. So it's very clear that uh, if you want to meet societal objectives, which is sustainable and affordable energy for all, that power electronics is a very critical technology in the years ahead. And uh, in uh, a lot of uh, this situation right now, we are facing so many uh, challenges. Uh, power electronics community is trying to do their best I mean, China has shown absolutely tremendous growth on the, uh, uh, the industrial side, on the economic side. Uh, and, uh, you know, they understand that uh, energy drives the economy. And they've been building a lot of new power plants uh, to, uh, to foster that. Um, I see more power electronics engineers being trained in China than I see in the rest of the world. So it's very clear that uh, the Chinese government, uh, you know, takes uh, the role of power electronics uh, as an enabling technology very seriously. Uh, I think they are going to play a tremendous role in the, uh, in the future. What I would uh, kind of caution is that if we continue to do everything the way we've done it, and the tendency is for us to do that, okay, then are we going to get to where we want to go? Uh, I think what is important is for us to sit down collectively as not just as a nation but uh, as a world uh, and uh, ha envision where we want to go and what are the critical technologies that need to be developed because resources are limited even in China and uh, the field is very broad and if you spend a lot of energy working on things that are not critically important, 
okay, then you're not going to get where you want to go faster. So if there's one cautionary word I would say is that, you know, there needs to be more visioning and there needs to be more risk-taking new paradigms that have to be developed. China has the opportunity as you build new infrastructure to build the 21st century infrastructure. If you use the 20th century infrastructure to go in the 21st century, you will have an investment that lasts for 50 years uh, and it's going to be much more expensive to make the changes in the future. So this is an opportunity for all of us and uh, we are looking to China to learn from the experiment of building the new energy infrastructure uh, and uh, the rest of the world will follow right after you. Thank you.